but then the ordinary person does not really look at why is Kitab close to Katiba, close to Kitaba, and what's the connection, what's the relationship between the different words and how they relate to each other. Uh, the Book of Funerals, Kitab al Janaz. And Janaz or funerals is from Janaza. That's the plural of Janaza. Janaz. is the plural of Kitab al is here on the right in Arabic, Kitab al Janais. So Janais is the plural of Janaza, and Janaza could be Janaza or Janaza. Uh, you can say Janaza or Janaza. And uh, the root of this word is Janaza, which has to do with covering because it entails eventually the covering of that person or the hiding uh, uh, of that person under the soil. And then he says, Imam Qudam, may Allah bestow mercy on him, he says in his, in, in his book, al Umda, which is the book that we're studying, and Imam Ibn Qudama is uh, Imam uh, Abdullah Ibn Qudama. Uh, he says in his book al Amda, وَإِذَا تَيَقَّنَ مَوْتُهُ أو وَإِذَا تُيَقِّنَ مَوْتُهُ غُمِّضَتْ عَيْنَاهُ وَشُدَّ لَحْيَاهُ وَجُعِلَ عَلَى بَطْنِهِ مِرْآتٌ أَوْ غَيْرُهَا uh, And if his death was certain, his eyes should be closed and his jaw should be tied and a mirror or another thing should be placed on his abdomen. Uh, I think that before death, before the certainty of death, we should give an introduction first on what to do when the person is dying. Uh, and then we'll talk about what to do when the person dies. And when the person is dying, you should uh, certainly try to visit the sick. You know, visiting the sick is one of the obligations uh, on us as a community. It is, uh, it is of great reward, it is of uh, great virtue to visit the sick. And uh, the Prophet says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would say on the Day of Judgment to his servant, I got sick and you did not visit me. So the servant would say to Allah, how could you get sick and you are the Lord of the worlds? And, and certainly Allah does not get sick. Uh, in, in that sense. But Allah would then explain to him, he would say, my servant so-and-so got sick and you did not visit, visit him. Had you visited him, you would have found me there. You would have found me there. I would have been ready to receive you, to welcome you with reward and uh, with uh, uh, hasanat and, and rafa' al-darajat, raise your ranks and takfir the sayyat and forgive your sins, etc. So it, it shows you that the great reward that when you go to visit the sick, you're actually visiting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll find Allah there to receive you, not just the sick. Uh, the Prophet also said that uh, when someone goes out, uh, Whoever goes out to visit his sick brother, he will be in the fruitful gardens of paradise until he comes back. He will be in the fruitful gardens of paradise until he comes back. And that means what? He will be doing the thing that will cause him to enter the fruitful gardens of paradise. <coughs> He will be doing the things that will cause him to enter the fruitful gardens of paradise. Many times, you know, the, each language has its own logic. And it is important to understand the logic of Arabic so that you understand the logic of the, of the Prophet ﷺ when he spoke. 